New tonight, an apartment fire in West Valley City leaves several people homeless tonight. It happened at the Green Village Apartments at 4100 South, 3900 West. News for Utah's Jen Jacobson is live with a closer look at the aftermath. Jen. Yeah, Glenn, the West Valley Fire Chief tells me six units went up in flames and at least six more now have smoke or water damage. Now, if you take a look behind me, you will see that there is still a fire crews on scene here monitoring the, this area for safety precautions. Now, I spoke to a woman who lives in this unit right here behind me, and she says she feels fortunate that her husband and her son were able to escape alive, but she did lose something very precious to her. And that's what we're just going to have to do, take it one day at a time. Danielle Manuel is devastated to learn her home went up in flames while she was at work. I just clocked out and came home as fast as I could, and I could see the smoke all the way home from work. The West Valley Fire Chief says the two alarm fire wiped out six apartments and caused smoke or water damage to at least six more. When the first arriving unit got here, the fire was through the roof. You never think this kind of thing is going to happen, but. It does. Crews from West Valley Unified Fire and West Jordan City joined the effort to put it out. There are pictures of my mother in there, and she passed away when I was young. Danielle says she's grateful her husband and son survived, but the devastation reminds her of a different tragedy. Danielle says precious memories are probably gone. I was only six when she died, so. I don't have a whole lot of pictures of her. Danielle says if her mother were still alive, she'd tell her to keep her chin up. I would imagine that she would reassure me that everything's going to be okay and that people are going to take care of us. Now, Danielle says that her family will be taken care of. Her grandmother even offered to cover the cost for all of the expenses of whatever's lost in this fire. Now, the American Red Cross is also stepping up to help people who are displaced by this fire, and they just tell me that they are grateful that nobody was injured and no lives were lost. Reporting live in West Valley City, I'm Jen Jacobson, News for Utah. Jen, thank you. A West